Welcome back YouTube friends. I am so glad and grateful that you are here. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get updated every time I make new videos. I am making a new promise to you that I am back on my YouTube game. I did go through pregnancy and I had a baby and four months of recovery and I am back. So I apologize for being gone there. Uh, my life was a little bit chaotic. I'm sure you understand. Today I wanted to share my five C's of resiliency. You know, it was an interesting thing last night. I wasn't able to, I wasn't able to sleep. And so I got up and I just started dinking around in my YouTube uh, dashboard. And I found this comment that I had made um, about a year ago on some random post and kind of just gave like a Cliff Notes version of some of the things that um, I've gone through. And there was a comment made on my YouTube channel that said, hey, this comment of yours got a thousand likes and um, over a hundred comments. Maybe you should go check it out. So I went and I checked it out and um, I started responding to everybody. And if you're here because of that, I'm so glad you're here. I had so many people ask me, how were you able to get through all of those things and be happy, healthy, and whole? and come out on the other side better and not bitter. And it really started making me think about um, what it took for me to come through those trials in a stronger, more capable way rather than in a defeated way. I started thinking about what it took for me to be resilient enough to pull through all of those and be here now on the other side of it 15 years later. I'm grateful for my experiences and not bitter for them. Those five C's I'm going to share right now, they are simply becoming conscious, making a choice, having the commitment, becoming curious, and then converting your beliefs. And I'm gonna dive into each one of these. The first step in resilience is to become conscious of your experience. So often we walk around in life completely unconscious that our reality is a simple reflection of the choices that we're making subconsciously. When we realize that through conscious thoughts, we can create the reality that we want, everything opens up. And that is the first step in resilience is realizing that you have the capacity and the ability to change any circumstance you're facing. Let me be clear on this. Like, yes, are there unchangeable circumstances? Absolutely. Is my son's death changeable? No, it's not. I, I cannot bring him back. However, I do have the ability to create a reality around his death that benefits me and does not make me bitter. The second step in resilience is making a choice. And this I learned on my son's seventh birthday and he had been gone for five years. And I remember laying in my bed and being so fed up with being miserable and sick and tired and hurting and grieving that I made a choice and I remember saying out loud, today I gift you my happiness. I don't know what it's going to take to figure out how to be happy again, but I am not going to stop until I figure it out. And I made a strong choice that the reason and the why behind that choice was greater than me. And I say that because oftentimes when we're facing these, these um, life circumstances, we make a choice, but the, but the reason that we're making that choice doesn't have a powerful enough why behind it to stay committed to that choice. And so for me, and that's the third, that's the third step of resilience is commitment, is to be committed to that choice. The higher the purpose, the easier it is to keep the commitment. If I had just made that choice for myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to keep it. But because it was a gift to my son, 
I was going to do anything in my power to make, keep that commitment. The fourth C in resilience is to become curious. And I learned this actually in jail in London. And um, I was at my wits end. I was bitter. I was pissed off. I was angry. And I was having it out with God. I was just telling him how unfair I thought it was. And all of a sudden, I just had these words spoken to me. Allow your adversity to become your university, your tribulations to become your education, and your trials to become your tests. And I realized in that moment that when we get curious about our circumstance and we dive into it with an attitude of learning, knowing and realizing and recognizing that every experience we are given on this earth, the whole purpose of this life is to learn the nature of God. Ask yourself, why am I going through this? What is God trying to teach me? How am I supposed to, what am I supposed to know? about the nature of God and then get curious about those circumstances and learn the heck out of every experience you have. Become a student of your experiences. The fifth C to resilience is to convert your beliefs. When I started actually dating my husband, he is the one who taught me these principles and these keys. One is by saying, well, that's one way of looking at it. And every time I would like dive into the negativity and just like vomit the victimhood and the blah, blah, blah. Um, he would always say, well, that's one way of looking at it. And he would invite me to find a way to look at it in a different light and to literally look at it from a bird's eye perspective where I could shift the way I was seeing things. The second follow-up question to that, to convert your belief systems is to ask yourself this one very simple question, but it is hard as all get out. And it is the most important question. It is, how could this be the very best thing that has ever happened to you? And you guys, when he first, when he first asked me this question, I literally wanted to vomit in my mouth. Like, how could the death of my son be the very best thing that's happened to me? I wanted to hit him in the face. And the more and more I started to ask myself this question, how is being raped the very best thing that's ever happened to me? How is going through a divorce the very best thing that's ever happened to me? How is bankruptcy the very best thing that's ever happened to me? My brain started looking for answers of things that benefited me in the adverse experience. And so your brain will look for the answers to the questions that you pose to it. So if you pose these questions of why is this happening to me? Why am I always got such bad luck? Then your brain is going to start finding answers to those questions. So if you start asking questions like why is this the best thing that's ever happened to me? Your brain is going to go to work to find those answers. And to be honest, I can 100% say that my son's death is the very best thing that has ever happened to me. It is also the very worst thing that has happened to me. So what is the difference? The only difference is the way that I see it. That for so many years, it was the worst thing that happened to me. And now it is the best thing that has happened to me. And there's only one thing that has changed. And that is what I have chosen to believe about those circumstances. And ever since I started to pose those questions of how could this be the best thing that's ever happened to me? Um, I started finding answers like, I have a guardian angel. He is on the other side for me. He protects me. And... I have a superpower and I, I am not kidding. I, I actually have had these experiences where I realized like, oh my gosh, I have a superpower on the other side. Like, why would I want my son here when what he can do for me is so much more powerful on the other side. So whatever you're going through, ask yourself those questions. How could this be the very best thing that has ever happened to me? And I promise you that if you ask it enough, you will eventually find powerful answers that will help you shift the way you look at these things. And that is how you become resilient, is realizing that everything in life happens for you 
or to you, and the only difference is the way that you choose to see it. Your life can happen to you or it can happen for you. I loved when I finally shifted that realization and that belief system that everything that I was given was happening for me. Even the things that appeared to be negative on the outside, you can always find a positive. Even if those things are only um, one day I'm going to be able to help somebody through this same situation because I've been through it. That is a benefit. That is a plus. That is something that is a powerful belief shifter. So those are my five C's to resiliency and I hope that they helped you. And that is it for now. You guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Like, love, and comment. I would love to create a community here that is just super supportive of people who are going through their own life circumstances. Anyway, I hope you have a great day.